Hi, I'm Rob Carnell. Today, it's not all about me. It's Brexit Day, and that means it's going to be all about James Knightley, our UK economist. James is beavering away on his note. James, um, how are you feeling? I'm a bit tired already. I'm not looking forward to another 12 hours of this. I'll just see how the, uh, just give you a sight of the battle room. We've got various TVs going. Actually, I think we've got uh, the same channel on all of them. Everybody hard at work. We've got uh, Cleaner over there from uh, FX team, um, beavering away as well. Over in the far corner, hiding. Uh, Nikolai Bakter, our business manager. Give us a wave, Nikolai. There we go. Representing continental Europe. Um, things could get ugly if it's a leave vote. So, uh, fingers crossed, eh? Well, they say that uh, an army marches on its stomach, and here at the Brexit battle room, um, we're well prepared for that. Let's go and see whether James has finished writing his notes. James, the notes written yet? Um, yeah, just about. Just working on the uh, instant reaction pieces now. The ones that you don't know what's actually happening and you're writing the reaction pieces already. Well, I'm giving it a go. Yeah. I'm assuming that uh, we're staying in. Um, so that's the one I'm focusing on now. But also, as the votes come in, we'll, uh, I might have to change uh, change tax somewhat. James, how's it going? Um, well, the first couple of hours we thought it was going to be an in. Um, just tidying up that note, but of course uh, the situation has swung. It's um, 10 to 6. And it's not quite over, or is it? It's, uh, I think, we thought the TV broadcasters having now called it as the UK is voting out. Um, it's a million votes between it now. It's pretty clear that the UK has, uh, has chosen to leave the EU, so... Uh, well, I'll, I'll leave you in peace now. You're clearly having difficulty speaking right now, so... <laughs> yes. uh, good luck with the conference call. Well, that's it. UK crashes out of the EU. That's the will of the people. Now, we just have to live with it.